but I didn't see that the joke was on me. Oh, no. So why are you in such a good mood? Because, Terry, I'm looking out here at this crowd and I see me some women's. <laughs> oh, ladies, you want to hear Walter Yodel? I know every single elder song ever recorded. That's impressive. I know I'm impressed. Do you know Hound Dog? Yep, that's my favorite. All right, do hand off. Okay. <laughs> I don't know that one. Look at this face. I know the years are showing. Look at this life. I still don't know where it's going. Okay, well, what is it you can do that I cannot do? I can sing with. So. So? <laughs> Not. So? I said. So. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently it is a party. Hey, you want me to make some brownies? No, no, Dougie, no, thank you. <laughs> I got most of the ingredients in my sock. No, thank you. Another winter day has come and gone away In either Paris or Rome And I want to go home Just let me go home Hello, boys. How do I look tonight? Mmm, good. I paid a fortune to look like this and I want you to get my ex-husband's money's worth. I'd like to say something to all the men here. I'm sure they'll love it. I know you like me. I know you do. That's why we Your girlfriend was hot like me. Don't you wish your girlfriend was a freak like me? Don't you? Don't you? I would describe my show as a one-man variety show. It's literally like going back in time to the old days of vaudeville and where you have tons of different acts, where you've got singing, you've got comedy, you've got impressions, you've got uh, dancing. There's, there's just a little bit of everything. It's just one guy doing it, but it certainly will not feel that way. But it will absolutely, positively be one of the most entertaining evenings you've ever had in your entire life. Well, one of the fun things about my show is that it's constantly evolving. So if you come and see me this week and then you come and see me in six weeks, you're going to see lots of new jokes. You're going to see new impressions that you didn't see before. And even the stuff that you saw before is a lot of fun to see a second time because then you get to watch other people react who have not seen it before. 
it's just a one-man variety show. It's not going to feel like you're watching one guy up there. Actually, it feels like there's 10 or 12 people up there, but it's actually just me doing my thing with all the puppets. Winning America's Got Talent was one of the most surreal experiences I could have ever imagined because uh, I'd never won anything up to that point in my entire life. And the fact that it was a competition, it wasn't some kind of just luck, that I actually had to work to win it, made it all the more uh, satisfying for me. And without a doubt, it was the stepping stone that led to the Mirage because it was what uh, gave me the national forum to say, hey, I want a headline in Las Vegas. You can see Winston the Impersonating Turtle, who was on America's Got Talent, Emma, uh, you can see her as well, Walter T. Airedale, the country singer. So you get a, a wide array of different styles, but yes, we created two characters specifically for the Mirage, Vicki the Cougar, who uh, is an older lady that likes to prey on young men, and she sings uh, stuff like um, uh, the Pussycat Dolls and Tracy Chapman, and, so, uh, and also the Beatle Puppet, who uh, sings Beatles songs.